What is up guys, Torviewer324 here, back again with another video, and today we'll be taking a look at the Transformers Age of Extinction Deluxe Class Dinobot Slug. Alright, taking a look around the box, you got a nice uh, picture of Slug. Um, it's really not the CGI rendering of him, uh, it's more like an artwork, which I really like, you can see right there. It's not really CGI rendered, but just a... Uh, uh, artwork of him. You can see his purple here. You got Transformers on the side. You got Transformers, Transformers Generations Deluxe Class Series M4003. Dinobot Slug on the back. It says the Fury Warrior hates taking orders unless it means means he gets to destroy something. He'll level anything in his path with a fit of white hot Dino Rage. <laughs> okay. Changes in 16 steps, really more uh, kind of a complex uh, deluxe class other than crosshairs right here. Comes with two swords. Um, here's his triceratops mode and yeah, let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. Here is Dinobot Slug in his triceratops mode. He is a really, really small figure. Um, just to show you, here he is with... Class Grimlock, which I know this is the leader. I do not have the Voyager yet, and Octane Bumblebee. For Dinobot Slug's accessories, he comes with these two swords. Uh, they're made out of this soft rubbery plastic. I'll get a closer look at this in robot mode. I guess you can interlock them like that to make a dual wheel fighting robot Dinobot something fighter. <laughs> I don't know. But they're just made out of this soft rubbery plastic, which um, I'm kind of worried about because uh, they could break, I guess, easily. They could get like warped in the heatness. I don't know, something like that. Just, just, just got to be careful with these. All right, so here's Dinobot Slug. Let's take a closer look at him. Now, wow, this guy is pretty, pretty cool in Triceratops mode. But in robot mode, uh, I'm not sure. But look at that face. Look at that raw. He does not have light piping. But it looks like he does. Just the, the paint that they use is very nice. really like these colorful colors that they used. Even though they're going to be like a like this type of color in the movie. But I'm okay with that. Really nice looking Triceratops with... A lot of horns everywhere, freaking everywhere. Um, so there's his head, there's his little hands right there, really cute. His Autobot logo, his tail right here, which I wish they colored this tail like that, but since it's made out of soft rubber plastic, probably not. For articulation in um, Dinobot mode, his head can go up and down like that. A little bit bright his arms go in and out they do go forward and back and he kind of bends at this part right here and his hands don't move his feet back here they do move but that's just part of the transformation and his legs go forward a little bit but I just untab that these two tabs tabbed in there which which is unfortunate because if this tail was tabbed on, he would have not that much articulation. But it's okay. So let's get on with the transformation. RAR. Alright, first step, what you want to do is you want to fold this up. Fold that in. Fold it up like that. Next thing you want to do is come here to the feet. You want to flip them up all the way. Until it hits that part right there. Now you want to untab that. Bring his leg down. Tap that, bring his leg down. Next thing you want to do is you want to flip up his feet, just like so. Next, you want to untap that from there, and you want to slide it across like that. Like that, you want to slide it across. Now, you want to bring these up and bring these down, like so. Next thing you want to do is you want to split his head right here. Which will open that part up, rotate these downward, kind of bend them like that, and then let's get a closer look at that. 
this tab right here will tab it to that point right in there so let me just do that um might be a little bit tricky but you'll get the hang of it let's see that one kind of doesn't tab in but you get the idea i'm gonna flip these over like that Let's see, sorry about that. I'm gonna flip these hands out, and there you got Dinobot Schlug. Really okay robot mode. Um, he looks fine. Um, precise comparison. Here he is with crosshairs. Make sure crosshairs doesn't fall. But you get the idea. And here he is with Bumblebee. And here he is with Invasion Mode Optimus Prime. So he, he looks small, I guess. Um, but once I get the other Dinobots, we'll do a full size comparison. Uh, with all of them, but for now we'll just uh, do it with the um, the just the robots, the non-dinosaur robots, I guess. And if you want to store his weapons here, or you want to put his weapons on him, there you go. I guess let me put him into a dy dynamic pose. I guess you could. I guess that's a dynamic pose. I really don't know. Let me just remove these. Oops. Like, like uh, one of my nitpicks is like, what the heck do I do with this tail right here? Just, I guess you could store it up like that, but it wants me to leave it like that, which will give him another tail. Uh, I really don't know. Uh, so let's take a closer look at Slug. Alright, so you can see here, what they're going for is like this knight um, type of Dinobots, even Optimus Prime, got that knight helmet, it looks like a knight helmet, kind of an oddly shaped head, in my opinion, so look at that, I, I wish he doesn't look like this in the movie, <laughs> kind of looks weird, oops, see, there goes his head. And once your once the head pops up, it's it's kind of tricky to get it back on because the shape of his head is so so oddly proportioned or something. But other than that, there's his head going down to his chest area. Really nice detail on the chest. You can see, kind of looks like a tail right here. It's really really thin. If you remove these arms out of the way, he's super thin. Just get an idea but I guess that these arm bits here will make him a little bit more bulkier um, going down here to his arms you see it's hollow on the inside really nice uh, fist detailing on the fist even though there's not that much I just really like how this fist was formed see there's this triceratops head which all I guess all the Dinobots will have like a split head on split head using as their shoulder pads there's his autobot logo right there see his legs right here also skinny this guy is a skinny figure um here's his legs here which look bulky and hollow so overall this this guy's for look wise he looks okay in uh, robot mode and dinobot mode he looks freaking cool all right, for his articulation, his head uh, is on a ball joint, rotates all the way around, but he kind of hinders it by his head shape and these two bits here and these triceratops head, his uh, split triceratops head. Uh, you could rotate these up and down if you like, make them look like that, I guess, which kind of makes him look cool, I guess, in my opinion. Yeah. Get back into focus here. His arms do rotate all the way around it's because of this little thing right here. Uh, kind of gets hindered, even though if you move it all the way up, still gets hindered. 
but it can if you want, if you force it. Um, it goes in and out. Don't, no, please don't break your fingers. Don't don't try to move it up if you can. Um, he bends at the elbow, um, not all the way, but at a 90 degree angle. He rotates at the elbow. His hands do go in and out. No wrist articulation. Uh, this in and out part is just part of the transformation. He has a waist swivel, which is really nice. Always appreciative of Hasbro giving that uh, to this uh, robot. His legs do go forward up high, back that far. They go in and out. He bends at the knee, rotates at the upper part of the thigh. Uh, this part right here, uh, I guess you can call it a joint, but that's just one of his transformation parts too. And his feet, no ankle, um, but it can go up and down because it's part of his transformation too. So articulation wise, this guy is, I guess you could say he's okay. Um, but with all the bulk that's on him, it's just terrible. Now... I've done his articulation and his size comparison. Let's get him back into dinosaur mode or triceratops. All right, first thing you want to do is you want to flip these feet down like that. You want to untap these from the side. You want to flip these back. You want to not close it yet. Oops, there goes his oddly shaped head. Let me just peg that back in there. Alright, you don't want to close it all the way because you want to rotate these around like so. Oops, sorry if you didn't see that. You want to flip his hands all the way inside. And now you want to start tapping his head together. Okay, now you want to push that down and kind of maneuver through the arms here. Oops, like so. It, the head will split, which is natural. And then you want to come down here to the legs. You want to flip that up. And then you want to flip his feet down like that. Just so want to pull on this tab right here and then flip it down. Oops. Next thing you want to do. Let's see here. I got stuck. You want to tab that in there just like so. Gonna get these things out of the way. Just bear with me, guys. This will be over soon. And then, pull these down. You do want to tab this in here, but I doubt it because it's kind of tricky too. So I just like just leaving it down like that. And there you got Dinobot Slug back in his Triceratops mode. That is it guys. Hope you guys liked the video. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, I know it was a really long video, I suppose. I haven't checked it because I haven't edited it yet. Um, but uh, I, I assure you it's going to be a long video. So hope you guys like it. And yeah, that's all I have to say. Toy Reviewer out. Peace.